what's up guys and welcome to this youtube community in today's video tutorial guide i will be showing you how i was able to create this amazing birdie flyer for nacristos um nacristos is such an amazing thing to me and it has been, it has been a source of inspiration to me as a creative even as a youtuber so i created this amazing sweet birdie flyer for him just to appreciate and celebrate him so in this video tutorial guide i will be showing you how i was able to create this particular birdie flyer from a to z if this is what you want kindly stay true to the end of this video if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel now and make sure you click on that like button now and comment something in the comment section if you want this particular video so without further ado let's get right into this video so the first thing we need to get now is the size of the design the size of this design so to get the size of the design just go right to this image size so you can pause this video now just to check the size so the width is 1023 while the height is 1280 so pause this video now write this down and put it on your pixel lab and every app you want to use so we'll be creating this using pixel lab now so i have the background so to start from afresh let me change the color of the background to a black color like this now and i already have the flyer on this part of my design so i'll place the flyer right in now so the first thing now is to bring in the background so to bring in the background i'll go over to my from gallery go over to my browse feature right in now i should have it um saved to my background resources so let me quickly go over to my background resources uh let me see where okay i'm sorry i is not yes so i'll go over to pin i think i have it right here I, have it, I saved the particular background from uh, from pen tray so this is the background right here now so this is the background right here so i just increase the relative size the width and send to back send to back now so i try to um do a little bit of color filter to the stuff so i think it was okay like this now so this is the background now so after we got the background let me lock the background the next thing now is for us to bring in the pictures of or uh, the pictures that i use which is not crystal picture don't worry i'll make the resources all the resources available in the description of this video for you to access every resources now so now to the pictures to the pictures so from gallery also i already have this picture i've removed the background so i'll just go over to my um photo room i think i should have it in my photo room here so this is the picture i use picture of this picture i use so this is the first one this is the first one so i'll uh, just place it uh, right here now so i press it right here now and take it down so one thing i did to this particular picture was that i erased the left hand side of the picture so i erased the picture right here so it will it will not show when i import the next one so when you have this now when i have this now so the next thing now to bring in a second picture also so i went over to my um same picture so this is the second picture i used and um to um to to know to carry out the stuff so this is the second picture i use now and i just place place it at uh, this part of this design so let me try to shift this particular one a little bit here and let me move this guy over here now so let me take this to the front so we can see what we are doing now so now okay i have him right over here now so i have him right over here and um okay so let's lock the two images i have imported so we won't tamper with them so after that now after that now the next thing i did was i was able to write this name and the background for the name so the background was like a call is like a glass morphism so this is how i created the glass morphism so i went over to shape and just alighted the shape and put it at the down part of the design just like the way i want it i went over to this radius and i think i took it to five i took it to five like this now so the next thing is to this opacity and i reduced the opacity to something like or uh, 30 if i can remember so i left it at 30 right now so i left it at 30 and i also went to the stroke here and i just give it a one stroke so the stroke strength is stroke width is one and the color of the stroke is uh, white it's complete white so i use white like this now so this is it over there so i was able to create this background for the name and um i wrote na crystals na crystal that is the name just to you know celebrate so let me go over here now and just rewrite the name na crystal so this is it over here now so let me select the font particular font i use particular font i use so centralized okay 
Wait, let me check the font I used right now. So this is a let me check my recent. I think it should be this guy. I think it's this guy I use. So this is this guy. So you can find something fairly similar in your font folder to use also. So increase the size, increase the size, and I just placed it. Um so let's leave it at 10. 110 so I centralize like this go back to padding and I try to increase the padding okay so we have this now we have this now so what I did to also that this is that I gave it a white uh, shadow white shadow that's why it's looking like it's, it's glittering so I gave it a white shadow like this now can you see it's giving okay let me go back again so or uh, to the blur I think I reduced the blur or something okay oh uh, no i didn't use this guy so i just left it at uh, i left it at this now so this uh this is why the uh, now crystal is kind of glittering so i just let me try to increase to 15 and centralize once again so this i was able to write the nacristos the nacristos so now the next thing i wrote was the uh the real name which is in america so you can usually do that at your own spare time to write the full name and the next thing now is to bring in this uh circular um distance so this is how i did it i went over to shape selected a cycle shape now so there is shaku shape and i tried to uh, reduce the opacity to something that it does i think i left it let's leave it at 55 like this let's leave it at 55 so still on it and let's try to reduce um reduce it a little bit and done so now so copy that i copied it again went over to this thing reduce the opacity okay increase the opacity actually and i reduce the size i reduce the size i reduce the size and i think i should uh we have this now so centralize everything so uh centralize the two circles centralize the two circles and um this is it right now so after you've centralized you can easily move them to the edge uh, to the right hand side of the design where i wrote the design jig and youtuber so he's a youtuber also you can also check out his youtube community or uh, nacristos that is a youtube name so you can check his nacristos and when you get there you definitely see uh, that is the one so this is how i wrote the distance and um after that okay let me go over to this down part of this design I, I i gave a shadow to the down part so go back to shapes like this this is the shape uh, i just use a shape you now create a shape like this and for the color for the color which uh i went over to i used gradient i used gradient and let me show you how i was able to create that um to blend that particular um, part of the design so i went over here selected a i think it was a dark color i selected also so go back to this second one and i reduce I took the opacity down so there was no color here now so this is how this was done now this is where how this was done so just take it to the down part take the down part send it to the back and to go to the back but make sure it's on top of the two pictures that we just selected so take it here now and this i was able to blend the background with um with with the stuff so let me try to reduce the size of these two cycles so and okay let me lock them let me lock them so we're not tamper with the stuff now so after that now what next what next um, um okay i'll show you i was able to put all this lightning on the spaces but i want to finish the major part of this thing so let me just write our uh, happy birthday text the happy birthday text right now this is the happy birthday text happy birthday i think i use uh a phone something i think i just let me check the phone i can't really remember the font but it was uh i think okay it was these guys i use it or these guys i use so i also give them a white color white color to complement and um and just you no know, make it uh, cool make it cool so I, I i give it a spacing spacing like this spacing like this now okay so just centralize them centralize and place on this or uh, part of the design this is this part of the design so you've been able to write the name so to write the name so i just write in now maker that is the name uh in uh, uh maker i think let me see again and, and do a lower so so into uh into wow so this is his real name this is uh i think it's a biological name so so just copy right here now play right here and um so that's i that's how i placed it right here on his here on his name like this now so after that now oh i wrote the date of his birthday the date was actually um 
the date was uh, i think 03 uh, it was 13 so i just put a space adults and oces john this is how i wrote it like that now so i place it at the top i place it at the top and just increase the spacing in between sorry the spacing in between the text like this and um okay just placed it um i just centralized and place it like that centralized i think i reduced the size or something to centralize on the top right now and just place it at the uh top of the screen so let's take this to the front now so we are done with the major text on this door on this design so let me let me try to do this again so after that i earlier i wrote the design jig and uh, crystals and all these things on that place so you can do that at your own spare time but now let me show you how i was able to add all this lightning on his face so the first of all i, I have a background to for the lightning so i went over to my gallery went over to my browse and i selected something um a, a background actually let me show you the arc i was able to use to do that so this was how this was a particular uh background i used to crop a little bit now so this is what i did this is where i got the arc when i was able to put a light on it so when i imported this particular background i went over to erase color enabled the erase color and i selected this dark part of this design selected it and i took this tolerance to the extreme and i think i used this edges now i'm not really sure okay so i make sure i took this to the extreme now after that i went over to the uh, relative size to make sure everything covers covers the whole screen so let me take this to the front so that we can easily get uh we can get what i'm talking about so this is where i was able to put a light on his face this is where i was able to put a light on his face let me go right to not really sure if i used okay so this is how i was able to put a light on his face can you see the lightning now so i let me let me show you i also used the eraser to clean out all the down part of this design so it will not affect other parts so this is how i did this arc do remember i said i will leave a link in the description you will access all this particular file so this is how i was able to add this lightning touch lightning touch to the overall design so now the next thing i did was to add this um this source uh, light beam and ribbon so i used my right uh, ribbons that i have also so you know, i used a little a lot of elements on this thing so i'll make sure also make sure i put all this thing in the description for you to access oh, sorry my ribbon this is my ribbon and light uh let me check for the ribbon okay this was a particular ribbon i used this was a ribbon i used and i just placed it here placed one here i copied again and um paste one at this top at this top right and just to give it that celebration you know celebration touch to give it a celebration touch that's why i have to put it here now after that now what else did i do okay what else did i do okay the light beam also so i went for the light beam i have it i saved it from facebook so let me show you the same arc i use on how to use that uh is it light beam or something i don't really know the name but it was uh, something common that um graphic designer used recently so this is it right now so i went over to erase the black part of this so i selected the black part selected the black part increase the tolerance and um I just place it around so i just put it around here now i think i placed one no not really okay i think it, it was not this one i used let me reselect <laughs> it was not this one i used so i reselect this i think okay, it was this uh, second brim i used so just cropped crop it and um okay this way is the guy okay this is the guy now so this is it now so i placed at the top and i also copied i placed at this uh edge down part of the design and the design so i think these are all the major stuff i did in this particular design so after that i just wrote the name i just wrote uh wrote the design jig here yeah, now wrote the design jig now so i'll also show you how i was able to enhance this particular design or i will create another video on how i was able to enhance this particular design to give you this story. this was not the after effect so this was just the after i was done editing and saving the overall design so i'll create another video on how i was able to create uh to light up this particular design like this now so without further ado uh, we are done with today's video tutorial guys these are the major thing i did to this particular design these are the major thing i did and now i was i, I was able to create this particular design okay let me let me try to 
let me try to move down all this um, stuff so so let me try to move down this stuff okay this is okay move down like a little bit now so this is how i was able to create the design i just saw the design check on youtube by right here so this is everything and how i was able to create this particular birthday or uh, wish celebration flyer if you find this helpful make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and share this video to bless your creative friends let them also grow together and make sure you watch out for the part two of this particular design or this particular tutorial on how i was able to enhance and color grade the overall design to give it the kind of look you have seen earlier so thank you for watching this video see you at the next video